Underwater volcano creates bubbles more than a quarter mile across. This is a satellite image of the Bogoslaw volcano. It shows volcanic clouds after an eruption. This is uh, by Digital Globe. In the early 20th century, sailors near Alaska reported seeing black bubbles seeming to boil out from the sea, and each one was the size of the dome of the Capitol building in Washington, D.C. But they weren't the only sailors who reported this bizarre phenomenon, and they were not mistaken, except for one thing, the bubbles were much larger. When the mostly underwater Bogoslaw volcano of the Aleutian Islands produced giant bubbles that can reach up to 1,444 feet across, according to a new study. These bubbles are filled with volcanic gas, so when they burst, they create volcanic clouds tens of thousands of feet in the sky. This is what the lead author John Lyons said. He's a research geophysicist at the Alaska Volcano Observatory of the U.S. Geological Survey. These volcanic clouds were captured in satellite images taken after the Bogoslaw volcano last erupted in 2017, but the bubbles themselves were never photographed. During the time of the eruption, a dull hum lingered, lingered in the air, a humming noise. Something was giving off low-frequency signals called infrasound, sounds below the level that humans can hear. That would last up to 10 seconds. Now, could this be what uh, is making up these mystery sounds that we hear sometimes, these low vibrations? Some people call them trumpet sounds. Uh, they could be something from under the earth. They could be uh, volcanic gases trying to escape. They could be something of a low frequency vibration underneath. Who knows? Now, coming back to this, they say that it would last up to 10 seconds. Lee and Lyons and his team, who regularly monitored the active volcanoes of Alaska, picked up on these signals on their data. But it, looked, it took us a while to figure them out, they said. It was only after searching the literature that the team came up with their hypothesis that the sound was the whisper of the giant bubbles growing within the magma of the erupting volcano. They then came up with a computer model for what was happening. In the model, a bubble bursts out from the column of magma underwater and begins to grow. And once it reaches the sea surface, it juts out in the shape of a hemisphere and continues to grow in an even faster rate in the lower density of the atmosphere. And eventually the pressure outside the bubble exceeds the pressure inside and the bubble begins to contract its film becomes unstable and ruptures, causing the bubble to burst. And when it bursts, volcanic gas, water vapor, sulfur dioxide, and carbon dioxide gets released partly back into the water, where it interacts with the lava, pulling it into pieces and producing ash and volcanic clouds, Lyons said. The team hypothesized that the low-frequency hum emanates from the growth and the oscillation of each bubble and the high-frequency signal represents the burst. He said, these shallow explosive submarine eruptions are so rare, there's a lot of undersea volcanism, but the majority of it happens under lots and lots of water, very deep, and all that extra pressure tends to suppress how explosive eruptions are, he said. But still, there are open questions, and the results are limited by their methodology which relied on a number of assumptions. He said, it's unclear, for example, what the water is like around the bubble, if it's like seawater or like wet cement. It would be nice to be able to record this somewhere else and make sure that our methodology is sound, he said. This was published originally in the journal Nature Geoscience. It's on Geo, uh, Geology In. And I'll leave a link below for you for this. Very interesting. Could this have anything to do with the mystery trumpet sounds or the low, re low frequency sounds that we find, that we hear across the world. It could be. It could be. Who knows? I'll leave links below for you for this.
If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media, and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.